Stanley Hauerwas' novel, Resident Aliens, Life in the Christian Colony, offers a thought-provoking analysis of the relationship between Christianity and modern society. Published in 1989, the book presents a compelling argument for a distinct Christian identity that challenges the prevailing culture's norms. Through incisive theological reflections, Hauerwas and Willimon articulate a vision of the church as a colony of resident aliens, living in the world but not fully assimilated by its values. The central premise of the book is that Christians should adopt a countercultural stance, firmly rooted in their faith, rather than capitulating to the surrounding society's secular norms. The authors critique the assimilation of the church into the broader culture, a phenomenon they see as detrimental to the Christian witness. By embracing this perspective, they call on Christians to embody a distinct way of life, guided by a commitment to God's kingdom principles. Hauerwas and Willimon argue that the church's role should be to witness against the world's injustices, rather than mirroring its broken systems. They emphasize the importance of cultivating a strong moral identity based on biblical principles. This moral vision compels Christians to act as a prophetic voice, confronting society's ethical dilemmas with the transformative power of the gospel. Furthermore, the authors tackle the individualistic nature of contemporary society, urging Christians to embrace community and interconnectedness as essential elements of their faith. They critique the privatization of religion and emphasize the communal nature of Christian life. By engaging in shared practices, such as worship, prayer, and service, the Church becomes a visible representation of God's kingdom, an alternative society to the prevailing individualism of modern culture. A key aspect of Resident Aliens is its criticism of the Church's historical entanglement with political power. Hauerwas and Willimon argue that the Church's primary allegiance should be to Christ, not any particular nation or political ideology. They caution against using Christianity as a tool to endorse or legitimize worldly powers. Instead, they advocate for a prophetic posture that challenges the state when its values and actions contradict Christian principles. Moreover, the authors examine the Church's relationship with consumerism and materialism. They call on Christians to resist the allure of consumer culture, which often clashes with the biblical emphasis on simplicity, compassion, and justice. By prioritizing spiritual wealth over material possessions, believers can embody an alternative way of life that defies the prevailing consumerist mindset. Throughout the book, Hauerwas and Willimon champion a robust ecclesiology, highlighting the significance of the Church as the locus of Christian identity and mission. They challenge the notion of the Church as merely a religious service provider and call for a renewed understanding of the Church as a dynamic community of faith, hope, and love. In conclusion, Resident Aliens, Life in the Christian Colony, presents a compelling analysis of the Christian's role in contemporary society. By advocating for a distinct Christian identity rooted in biblical principles, the authors challenge the Church to resist assimilation into secular culture and to embrace its prophetic calling. Their critique of individualism, political entanglements, consumerism, and privatized faith offers a timely and provocative message for Christians seeking to navigate the complexities of modern life. By envisioning the Church as a vibrant and transformative community, Hauerwas and Willimon present a compelling vision for how Christianity can engage with and impact the world in a meaningful and redemptive way.